Hello clients of Friedman, Cannonberg and Company. Alan Friedman here and Daniel Joe. By the way, nice shirt. You must have gotten the memo. Uh, thanks for picking it up. <laughs> it's okay. Well, aside from our good looks, we're here to talk about something actually more important. Yeah, the, the new Tax Cuts and Job Act. TCJA, I think they're you referring to You got it, it. You got it. It's going to be an exciting year, right, Alan? Uh, well, I, if you consider tax acts exciting, I guess it is. <laughs> this has actually been one of the most wide-sweeping changes I've ever seen in my career, and that's a long career. Yeah. The last time I saw anything this monumental was 1986 with passive activity law changes. And, but this has been huge, and especially on the business side, which I know we want to talk about. Um, what are some of the business changes that have come out of this new law? Well, the headline item of this bill has been the new C-Corporation tax rate of 21%. The wow. new flat tax, Alan. What do you think about the flat tax? <laughs> well, it depends. Yeah. Uh, you know, everybody thinks it's great because corporate uh, the corporate rate's lower, therefore tax is lower. But you know what? It's not good news for every C-Corporation. In fact, when you have lower income earning corporations that are under $100,000 or even lower of taxable income, they were paying tax at a lower rate. So this is that's actually a tax increase for lower C Corp. I thought it's called tax cuts. Okay, yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah. You know, the other thing about that is, is Alan, that doesn't even address the is there's a proper entity for me a C corporation. C corporations are still subject to double tax. Exactly. They haven't been a big you know, accountants haven't been big fans of C corporations because of that issue. Um, we tend to like S corporations which have one level of tax, but the question that we've been getting all, you know, lately is, should I switch from an S corp to a C corp? And once again, that answer is it, it, depends. it depends. But speaking of those S corps, what they did for those entities, as well as a few other, to offset the C corporation um, rate is something called the QBID. What does the that stand for? Qualified Business Income Deduction. I think so. I think that's okay. right. So if you are an S corporation, an LLC, a partnership, or even a sole proprietorship you are going to be allowed a 20% deduction on your federal income tax return. And is that for every S-Corp, LLC, partnership? It so depends, yeah. because just like everything else, they put a lot of factors. A lot right? of factors. Uh, do you pay wages? Are you in a certain industry where this is not allowed? Uh, just a lot. How, how much income do you make? Yeah. If you make too much income, you phase out of some of this. Exactly. So not all of our clients will benefit. We're hoping most of them will. But there's planning that has to go on. Yeah, that's why we're really, you know, throwing this video out there to you because you may wonder about these things and you want to call us because if you want to know how these factors impact you, we really have to run your situation right. you know. But there were and some... All, yeah, other changes too. Yeah, what other things were in there that affected businesses? Well, there's been changes to the rules of meals and entertainment. Um, just the withholding on employees' paychecks, that's changed too. And you know, Alan, I'm anticipating this March and April to be a tough time for our business owners. Do you know why? Why is that? These employees are going to go file their tax returns expecting a similar tax as last year, maybe even a refund. Right. They're not going to get that. And guess who they're going to be good at talking to? The business owners. You did something wrong. Exactly. What did they do wrong? Yeah, well, they actually didn't do anything wrong because individual tax rates came down. So did the need to withhold tax. The problem is, in the news, everybody's been hearing you're going to pay less tax. They think they're getting refunds because they thought they had the same amount of withholding. And that's not the case. Yeah. So some people expecting the same kinds of refunds might be very surprised. Another reason why we're encouraging our individuals to come see us and talk. Yeah, there's us. a whole other set of rules for individuals that change. Yeah, not just not time, time to yeah. do all So we just wanted to get in contact with you to say, listen, if any of these things concern you, you have questions about them, please contact us. Right. You know how to get in touch with us. We'd be happy to look at your situation, see what we can do to help you. And, and we really need to do this before the end of the calendar year because any potential moves we want to make, they need to be done before. We really have to be enacted yeah. before December 31st. So thanks for joining us with this important video. We look forward to hearing from you soon.